surrendering to wonder and awe. Because right now, Goddess, while the world feels as though it's crumbling and everything feels like it's just chaos, it feels like nothing may be going right, it feels like nothing's going to work out, it feels like, oh my gosh, why am I in this crazy world? There's nothing that's actually beautiful, it's all just awful and terrible and there's so much darkness and evil in this world and this whole spiritual war and on and on and on that we actually are feeding that upper level of hell because this is this is the realm of duality wherein we exist we exist in the uppermost level of hell and the lowermost level of heaven and that's why this is the realm of duality and free will, wherein you are being given that choice of what you are tuning to, what you are choosing. Hell or heaven? Well, you can choose heaven by surrendering to wonder and awe. You can be creating heaven on earth, which you, dear goddess light worker, have come to be doing here. And we do this by leading by example. And so one of these ways that we lead by example is what are you focusing on? Because when what you focus on is the very thing that expands and you're here to expand love and light in this world, wonder and awe, being able to look and see the magic in the chaos, to look and see the magic in the madness of it all, to know that it is only through this insane, chaotic madness that true beauty does come from, the order, the order from chaos, that this is the breaking down and the crumbling, and that is wonderment and awe, that holy wowzers, all of this is breaking down so that we can break through and break away from what was and into the new. So you are the catalyst, goddess. You have the power to activate heaven in your world by simply surrendering to wonder and awe, allowing yourself to see magic and miracles. That is exactly what October very much seems to be about in the energies for both the divine feminine and divine masculine is magic and miracles. But you have to be the one to tune to that. You've got to be the one to be open to that to let that flow in. Remember, the only one whoever stands in your way is you. I am hearing Abraham really loud in my mind. You don't get in the way of each other's realities. You only get in the way of your own reality. 